I'm a Passamaquoddy tribal member. Pestamokadik is the people that spear the pollock. We want to produce our own food, our own fish. What on the water is lobster, scallops, clams, urchins, pollock, haddock, flounder. Those are all food that is available to us. If we can grow our own food needs from the agricultural side in conjunction with the game and the marine wildlife, that we're going to be well ahead of the game in terms of being self-sufficient because what we're looking at is tribal health in general. And you're providing for yourself. You're not depending upon somebody else to provide for you. That is healing to your own individual spirit. Over the past several years, the number of uh, alewives returning back up into the St. Croix has been diminished by a great degree. Alewives for the tribe have been, I won't actually say a mainstay, but without the alewives, I think the biodiversity of Passamaquoddy Bay has seriously been impacted. They're acoustic pingers, so basically it's, they're sending out a shot of sound. Thank you. And those little black canisters are hydrophones, they pick it up. We're hopefully be able to track and bring back some of those other populations and species as well. Part of the, what the Passamaquoddy are doing are they're taking responsibility for restoration of the, the fisheries that they've always depended on. So alewife are a big component of that. They're a forage fish, the fish that feeds all. So this will give us an idea of how long they're in the bay. We need to figure out how to regrow those populations. We don't have enough information to do anything with. a navigation aid we built a moorings so that we could set them out in places to get to track the alewife as they're to determine whether they're turning north or south as they come out of the channel. This is the first year we've had a big count of alewives going in and this whole project is designed to kind of track how many are coming back down through. With the return of the alewives, the biodiversity of Passamaquoddy Bay hopefully will be replenished and all of the, uh, the species that, are, that were once plentiful here will return again. With those marine resources in mind, the game, deer, moose, pigs, and cattle also for livestock, and the farming initiatives that we have, those partners and our hard work is going to pay off and we'll be able to attain our goal of 50% food self-sufficiency.